Sora 2. Sora 2 is out, Sora 2 is out, people! Sora 2 is out, you hear me? Sora 2 is out! It's out! It's out right now! Yeah, that's new. <laughs> the internet is losing its mind over AI-generated videos that look like this. Olympic gymnasts doing perfect routines, basketball shots with actual physics, triple axles while a cat hangs on for dear life. Let me show you what I've been making. This is me in a matrix. This is me speaking with Einstein. And here is Sam Altman becoming ChatGPT himself, showcasing its new features. Yeah, this is getting wild. And I will show you exactly how I made these. But here's what nobody's showing you. The actual interface, the real features, and what you can actually do with it right now. So here's the situation. Sora 2 launched September 30th, 2025, and it's currently invite only. You need to be in the US or Canada, or you need a workaround, which we'll cover in a second. OpenAI released this as both mobile app and a web version at sora.chatgpt.com. And everyone wants to see what's actually inside. The hype is real because OpenAI called the original Sora their GPT-1 moment for video, and they're saying Sora 2 is jumping straight to the GPT-3 5 moment. That's a massive leap. We're talking about world simulation, physics that actually work, movements that make sense, details that hold up on close inspection. But here's the thing, while the demo reels look incredible, the actual feature set is pretty limited right now. So let me walk you through everything. The mobile app, the web version, how to create your own AI cameo, and the honest reality check that most coverage is skipping. If you're planning to test Sora 2 like I am, you're gonna end up with a ton of AI generated videos videos, notes, and experiments scattered everywhere. Trust me, I learned this the hard way. Every time I run a Sora test, I record a quick voice memo or screen recording walking through what I'm testing, and I let TickNote Cloud capture everything. It's basically an AI meeting notes platform, but I use it for content creation workflows. Here's how it works. On my Mac, I just hit record on the TickNote Cloud website. No bot joining my screen, it just runs in the background. When I'm done testing, I hit stop, and within seconds, TickNote gives me a full transcript, everything I said, plus an AI-generated summary breaking down what I tested, what worked, what didn't. The transcript accuracy is insane, up to 98%, and it works in over 120 languages. But the real power move is in the shadow AI feature. It's like in-document Q&A. I can ask it, what were my issues with the prompt interface, and it instantly pulls the exact moments where I mentioned problems. I also use the mind map feature to visualize the structure of my experiments, like, okay, I tested five different prompts, which ones gave me the best results? And it turns that into a visual map I can literally screenshot and drop into my notes. And if you're doing team reviews or client calls about AI tools, TechNote has templates for everything. Product demos, creative briefs, technical reviews. You're not starting from scratch. They've got a free tier with solid features and you can sign up right now. I will drop my link in the description. Honestly, it's been a game changer for keeping track of what I'm building with AI tools like Sora. Let's start with the mobile app because because this is where most people are jumping in. When you first open Sora 2, you're hit with what looks like TikTok or Instagram. It's a vertical feed of AI generated videos. You can scroll, you can like, you can comment, you can follow creators. OpenAI is clearly positioning this as a social platform, not just a tool. At the bottom, you've got your navigation, home feed, explore tab, create button in the center, notifications, and your profile. Pretty standard social media layout. The explore tab lets you browse by category. Trending, recent, following, and you can search for specific types of content or creators. Now let's talk about the create flow because this is what you're really here for. Tap that plus button in the center and you get three main options. Generate from text prompt, upload your own footage to transform, or use a cameo. We'll dive deep into cameos in a minute because that's the standout feature. For text to video generation, you type your prompt into text box. Speaking of prompts, if you're stuck on what to write, I personally use the Ask AI Master feature. It's built right into AI Master Pro. Pro, you literally type, give me cinematic prompts for Sora 2, and it generates custom prompts for you on the spot. Product demos, viral content, whatever style you need. You can switch between landscape and portrait orientation with a toggle, no square format yet, which is a little surprising. There's no duration slider that I can see in the current build. Sora 2 seems to default to five second clips for most generations, though some examples online show up to 20 seconds. Now here's where it gets interesting. You can add 
reference images to guide the style or composition. If you have your own footage, let's say a meme or a product shot, you can feed that in and let Sora 2 transform it or extend it. When you hit generate, you're looking at somewhere between 30 seconds to two minutes of processing time, depending on server load. The generation happens in the cloud, so you're not burning your phone's battery. Once it's done, the video appears in your profile feed and you can choose to post it publicly or keep it private. One thing that stood out to me during testing, the interface is really clean. There's no overwhelming array of sliders or advanced settings, at least not yet. OpenAI clearly designed this for speed and simplicity, not for power users who want granular control. That's a double-edged sword. It's approachable, but if you want to dial in specific camera movements or lighting changes, you're limited to prompt engineering. All right, let's talk about Cameo, because this is the feature that's blowing up social media right now. Cameo lets you create a digital version of yourself or anyone else and insert that character into AI-generated scenes. Think of it like a personalized AI avatar that Sora 2 can animate in any context you describe. Here's how it works. In the iOS app, and this is mobile only for now, you tap the Cameo option in the Create menu. The app prompts you to record a short video of yourself, about 10 to 15 seconds, looking straight at the camera from multiple angles. You're basically giving Sora 2 enough facial data to build a model of your appearance. Once you upload that video, Sora 2 processes it and creates your Cameo profile. From that point on, anytime you generate a video, you can select your Cameo as a character and write a prompt. Sora 2 will render that scene with your digital likeness acting it out. I know some of you are watching this thinking, this is cool, but how do I actually keep up with all these AI tools dropping every week? Here's the thing, Sora 2 app is just one piece of the OpenAI puzzle. Honestly, the release schedule is insane right now. That's exactly why I built AMS or Pro. It's your all-in-one AI hub. You get generative AI starter course with 100 plus bite-sized lessons, so you're not learning from scattered YouTube videos. You get 300 plus ready-to-use prompts in Prompt Lab Pro for video generation, content creation, automation, basically plug-and-play templates that actually work. And if you want to go deeper, we've got the AI Master Method. It's an action sprint where you build real AI offer, set up your funnel, and launch in four weeks. It's not theory, it's for people who want results. Links in the description, go check it out. All right, I had way too much fun with this. Here's me exploring the Avatar movie world. Here's my open AI job interview. Yes, I couldn't resist. I made a Sam Altman cameo too. Watch this. Here we are, Tarantino style sales agents. The internet is already full of these. And honestly, it's hilarious. But here's the thing. These took about 90 seconds each to generate and the quality is surprisingly consistent. I've seen examples where people are putting themselves in movie trailers, meme formats, historical settings, the creativity is off the charts. The facial likeness holds up pretty well in most cases, though it can get a little uncanny if you're looking closely. One limitation, you can only create cameos of yourself using the iOS app. If you're accessing Sora 2 through the web, you can't create a new cameo, though you can use ones you've already made on mobile. And if you're outside the US or Canada, you'll need to set up a US-based Apple ID to download the app in the first place. There's also a bit of a gray area around consent and likeness. OpenAI has built in safeguards to prevent you from uploading videos of other people without permission, but I'm sure we're going to see debates about deepfakes and misuse in the near future. For now, the focus is on personal creativity and the feature is locked behind account verification to reduce abuse. Now let's switch over to the web version at sora.chatgpt.com. This launched at the same time as the mobile app and it's mostly the same experience, but there are a few key differences. First, the layout. On desktop, you get a wider view, which makes browsing the feed much more comfortable. The create interface looks similar, text prompt box with a few new toggles, but here you can choose between Sora 2 and Sora 2 Pro model. In Sora 2 mode, you can tweak the orientation and add a reference image. All videos in this mode are, are limited to 10 seconds. In Sora 2 Pro mode, you can adjust orientation and resolution. And if you switch to high resolution, basically 1080p, you also unlock the duration toggle, allowing up to 15 seconds. Here you have more more screen real estate to preview your generations and compare multiple outputs side by side. The actual processing is happening on OpenAI servers either way, so there shouldn't be a difference. But the web UI does feel more responsive, especially when scrubbing through video previews. The biggest limitation of web version is that you can't create cameos. That feature is locked to the iOS app. You can use cameos that you've already set up on mobile, but you can't initialize a new one from the browser. That's a frustrating omission, especially especially for people 
who primarily work on desktop or who don't have access to an iPhone. On the plus side, the web version integrates better with desktop workflows. You can drag and drop video files directly into the interface, export higher quality Sora 2 Pro renders if you're on a plus or pro plan and manage your library of creations more easily. So which version should you use? If you want the full feature set and you plan to create cameos, start with mobile. If you're doing more production focused work or you prefer a desktop environment, the web version is solid for everything else. Ideally, you'd use both depending on the task. Okay, let's be real for a minute. Sora 2 is impressive, but it's not a magic wand and the current version has some clear limitations that you need to know about. First, generation times. Yes, 30 seconds to two minutes per clip is fast compared to some competitors. But if you're iterating on an idea or trying to dial in a specific look, that adds up quickly. You might go through 10 or 15 generations before you get something usable, which means you're waiting five to 10 minutes total. For casual experimentation, that's fine. For professional deadlines, it can be frustrating. Second, control. Sora 2 gives you almost no fine grained control over camera angles, lighting, or composition. You're relying entirely on prompt engineering. And even then, the model interprets your words in ways that might not match your vision. What you get is what you get. Third, resolution and length. Outputs are up to 10 seconds at 720p or 1080p resolution. Some users have reported longer clips, but those seem to be exceptions rather than the rule. If you need 4K output or extended durations, you're out of luck right now. So how does Sora 2 stack up against competitors like VO3, Runway, and Clank? Honestly, it's a mixed bag. Sora 2's physics simulation is a step above most other models. The way it handles motion, gravity, and object interactions is noticeably more realistic. But in terms of user control and professional features, VO3, Runway, Gen 3, and Pika 1.5 still have an edge. They offer more granular settings, better integration with editing tools, and more predictable outputs. Where Sora 2 really shines is in the social and creative experimentation space. If you are a content creator looking to make viral clips, memes, concept videos, Sora 2 is incredibly fun and fast. If you are a filmmaker or brand looking for production-ready assets, you'll probably still lean on runway or traditional editing workflows. So is Sora 2 worth the hype? For most people, yes, but with caveats. If you are an AI enthusiast, creator, or early adopter, Sora 2 is absolutely worth exploring. The cameo feature alone is a game changer for personalized content. The quality of the generations is legitimately impressive when it works. If you are a professional video producer or someone who needs frame accurate control, Sora 2 isn't a replacement for your current tools yet. Think of it more as a rapid prototyping tool or a creative spark generator. You can and use it to concept out ideas, test visual directions, or create social media content quickly, but don't expect it to handle your entire production pipeline. The bigger question is where this is headed. OpenAI has a track record, iterating fast. GPT-3 to GPT-4 was a massive leap. If, if Sora 2 follows that trajectory, we're probably 12 to 18 months away from a version that starts competing seriously with professional tools. Extended durations, higher resolutions, better control, multi-shot consistency, all that is likely coming. For now, Sword 2 is a glimpse of what's possible, it's fun, it's accessible, and it's pushing the boundaries of what AI video can do, but it's not the end of the road, it's the beginning. If you want to stay updated on Sword 2 and other AI video tools as they evolve, subscribe and hit the bell. Check out AI Master Pro, links in the description. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.